Well, it is October, and I know a lot of times we think, you know, it's time to move on inside and think about some of those chores and the holidays coming up. Not so fast because October and fall in general is a great time to do a little exterior painting because we have cooler days, less humidity, so it's easier to apply product that doesn't dry too fast before it sets up or you know, you'll get brush marks in it. So it really is a great time to do a little maintenance and, and some painting on the outside of the house. Now, a lot of people hold off doing the painting around the outside of the house because they're concerned about the color. And I understand that. It's sometimes uh, if you're trying to, you really wanna make a change and you're not sure, you know, it can be a little rough, especially if you're doing samples on the front of the house, which I would never do too many neighbors. You do that on the back because the problem with neighbors is everybody has a different opinion. So here's one, my recommendation a little bit. If you're trying to hit, you know, this is like mannequin shopping uh, for getting clothes, but every paint company, this is Benjamin Moore, they have, this is all exterior colors. And see all the companion colors? So you can pretty much start from there. And then, because I tell you what, I drive around there's a lot of misses out there, as I call, like where, you know, you miss uh, something like, like here, like if you wanted to paint your house a dark blue, that's a, that's a quite a statement, right? And you see a lot of blue, but man, can you miss on, they can look aqua, they can look purple. Well, instead of just grabbing a bunch of blues, you go here and Benjamin Moore, their decorators have picked a couple blues for you. So you can kind of start there and you know that those are suitable for outside. So that would be my recommendation. The other is, once you dial in on a, on a color, get samples. Everybody has samples and then put them on the back of the house, put them wherever you can, and then look at them different times during the day, different light to see how they look and make sure you're happy with it. Because it's not like painting a bedroom, it's a big investment on the outside. And then once you get that color picked, I know you wanna slap it on, but make sure you do the prep, it's so important. It's so important to do cleaning. There's all kinds of cleaners. This stuff is really good even as a maintenance. It's called 30 seconds uh, cleaners. Great time to caulk. Number one in the energy efficiency audit generally is not insulation, not windows, not doors. It's caulking because it's so cost efficient. So making sure that you're around the frames and stop that air infiltration. And then if you have some spots where you really have some uh, chip paint, you know, a lot of times it's on sills and, and stuff, make sure you use you get a good primer and again I know everyone's anxious to get right to the color and to kind of show the neighbors the new look of the house I know but doing the prep work scraping sanding using a good primer on those problem areas then you're ready to start painting so let's just say that your house is not exactly let's say the siding's just a little bit on the rough side right so it's been peeling and you've done the best you can always get a flat paint. So you wanna get a dead flat because a dead flat will hide some of those imperfections because the more sheen in that film, the more the light's gonna hit it and then the neighbors are gonna go, hey, I got some peeling paint there. So if it is in pretty good shape, you can use a, uh, a low luster that will add a little bit of richness to the color if your siding looks good. And then of course on the trim, a little bit of gloss right there. And don't forget, you can always put a special color on that front door. That's your signature color, but don't start painting rocks in the yard and mailboxes. It's for the front door. All right, have a great day.